In this problem, we have a famous curve called the Witch of Agnesy. It's given by this equation, and we have to find the tangent line to the curve at this point here, 2, 1. So the tangent line will look something like this purple dotted line that I'm drawing here. Okay, so to find the tangent line, we need two things. We need a point and the slope. So we've already got the point, so all we need is the slope. The slope of the tangent line is the derivative, right? So all we have to do is find the derivative. Now there's a couple ways to do this. We can just straight up take the derivative right away, or we can solve for y, then take the derivative. Let's just go ahead and take the derivative right away. So to take the derivative right away, we'll just use the product rule. So this is the first piece, and this is the second piece. Recall the product rule says if you have f times g, think of f as being the first piece and g as being the second piece. So it's the derivative of the first times the second plus the first times the derivative of the second. So in all of this, this is our f and this is our g. So the derivative of the first piece is just 2x, right? Because the derivative of 4 is 0. Times the second piece plus the first piece. So x squared plus 4 times the derivative of y. Well, that's just dy dx. So again, the derivative of the first is 2x times the second piece plus the first piece times the derivative of the second piece, which is just dy dx. dy dx is the derivative of y. This is equal to 8 is a constant, so its derivative is 0. So we want the slope at 2, 1. So we could solve this for dy dx, but it's actually way easier if you go ahead and plug in the numbers now. So at 2, comma 1, x is equal to 2 and y is equal to 1. Right, so now we're going to plug these numbers into this equation and find dy dx. So it'll be 2 times 2 times 1, right? Because x is 2 and y is 1. Plus, and then x is 2, so it'll be 4 plus 4. So 4 plus 4, because 2 squared is 4, dy dx. And this is equal to 0. Let's check that. So x is 2 and y is 1. So we did 2 times 1. Looks OK. 2 squared is 4, so 4 plus 4. All right, so this is 2 times 2 times 1. Yikes, this is 4 plus 8 dy dx. And that's equal to 0. Let's subtract the 4. So we have 8 dy dx equals negative 4. And then dividing by 8, we end up with dy dx equals negative 4 over 8. So that's the same thing as negative 1 over 2. So this is dy dx at the point 2, comma 1. This is going to be our m. This is the slope of the tangent line. Remember, the derivative is the slope of the tangent line. All right, so now we'll just write down the formula. So y minus y1, this is the point slope formula, equals m times x minus x1. So y, so our y1 here is going to be 1, and our x1 is 2. So it'll be y minus 1 equals, and our m is negative 1 half, and then it's x minus 2. Good stuff. So we have y minus 1. Now we'll distribute the negative 1 half, so that's negative 1 half x. And you distribute it here, it's going to become a plus 1. Adding 1 to both sides, we end up with y equals negative 1 half x plus 2, right? 1 plus 1 is equal to 2. And that is the equation of the tangent line to the curve, which is called the Witch of Agnesy at the point 2, comma 1. I hope that made sense.